back. Um, I know we're doing something a little different today. I usually don't do this type of content, but, you know, we're here. We're going to be playing some Astroneer. And this is actually being played live. So, you know, maybe hop by my Twitch when you're, uh, if, you, if you're available. Because we're having a good time here. Some people might pop in, you know. You never know. So yeah, we're just gonna start a new game and hope it doesn't all go bad. So I have played this game before, but I will try to be as dumb as possible. I haven't really done most of the new updates so. though. So here we go. Alright, looking around. The mountains and no light. Okay, we do have resources readily available. Okay. to do. We have to do the mission to get our resources. So these are our first resources that we get in the game. Ahem. <clears throat> I will try to be explaining this, but the oxygenator goes in here so that we have resources. And then here is our small printer. Um, just to cook the power. All that. So yeah, we're gonna have a great time here. I have no idea what this big pepper is. Sturdy squash. I don't know what that is, man. But, you know, it's good. Let's examine. I got this too. Um, so that gives us some tethers. And tethers pretty much let us go and do whatever. Put down oxygen like this. Apparently the theme now is still Halloween. So you're gonna have to bear with me during these pumpkin pumpkin uh things. Yeah. These things are pretty dangerous here what they do. They hurt. So, I don't really know what I have to do. I haven't played this game in a while. But I will get this, because I just did this. This is a free small container, so if we're looking for a backpack, put this on here. And now we can harvest uh, dirt and stuff. Gather compound and gather resin. So let's just go ahead and do that. We're gonna start a little time lapse because I kind of want to get as much of this stuff as I as I can. So enjoy the little time lapse. <laughs> end the time lapse right here so right now we went and got a bunch of uh, compound and a bunch of resin these two elements are like the basics the fundamentals for the whole entire game these are going to be used throughout the game because you have to combine them with things you have to smelt them you have to burn them whatever Resin is one of the more used compounds, along with copper and other things, which I think I see some right over there. Which is really nice, because that stuff is usually a big pain to go and find. Um, but yeah, we just got a bunch of this stuff at the beginning of the game. So 
that'll just make our lives a whole lot easier near the end. So, I think we got another carry package here, because that was a challenge. Um, we gathered compound. So we got from that some storage and two medium platforms, which is really good. And then we got this, fill a small canister with soil. That'll give us some bites. Now bites are what's really about this. If I hold, well, right on my d-pad, hold on, if I hold, maybe, if I hold right on my d-pad, I can go over here to the research log. Select it. You can see that there are a bunch of things highlighted in blue, and then a, a bunch of things highlighted in gray. Things that are highlighted in gray means I have not researched them, and they are not unlocked. Things in blue I have unlocked, and then the things in pink means I don't have enough bites. These bites can be uh, gained by researching things. And, um, by completing challenges as I just did. So, I think I'm gonna start to, uh, build up my base a little bit. So, print. Print medium printer and a slot medium printer to a platform. Alright, that is gonna be super easy. If we go over here and we craft, you see it needs to compound. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit this, um, recycle looking button. And what this recycle button is going to do is it's going to make it so that once we put the things on the top, it's actually going to start printing automatically. So, I'm just going to put one, two compound on, and you see it's printing. Now, the thing about this game is this yellow line. This is our energy bar. If it starts to flash, that means we're running low on energy. We only have a certain amount of energy being placed, or being, uh, put out by this RTG, which we can unlock later in the game. Um, so, here is our medium printer. We're gonna take one of our platforms here, bring it around, boom. This game is a very fun game. Anyways, take the cable, plug it in, take our printer, put it on top, and then we can just open it right on top. And then boom, a little achievement down the right. Come over here, get whatever we got. Large platform A, or large platform B. Okay, that's good. So, I think that I'm going to make the furnace. So for the furnace, what we're going to need, well, this is actually makes our job like 10 times easier. For the furnace, um, we need to unlock it through the research table that I just talked about. So we go over to the medium printer, scroll down, Is it? A oh, large printer, sorry. And we scroll over one, we have the smelting furnace. We can unlock that for 250 bytes. It's pretty cheap compared to a lot of other things here. So we're just gonna go ahead and unlock it. We're gonna go to the medium printer. Not do the large printer, but you see it needs two resin and one compound. So go ahead and do the same thing we did earlier. Grab our resin. And grab our compound. Put it on, and it's going to start making our um, smelting furnace. As you can see, it's not moving as fast as it would be, because our yellow line here is not as um, 
lit up as it would be. This is a problem that will be very obvious in the future as our stuff starts to slow down. Anyways, let's just watch it work. our smelting furnace is coming to an end, I would just like to say thank you all for all the support throughout this channel. It's really meant a lot to me, and I don't think I'd be here without you. I have been known to lose motivation for a lot of things, so you just giving me the support is great. Anyways, here is our smelting furnace, and I think we unlocked yet another achievement. Salmon. And we got... Oh. Okay. So now we have to go get some aluminum from laterite. I think our laterite is right up here. I think I said copper earlier. Whatever. Malachite. So this is the copper. Okay. We will be uh, getting later. This is just right here. So, let's head back. Is this what it meant? Did it actually mean aluminum? Laterite. Okay. Laterite. It is a pain. It's a pain to get. You have to go all the way down into a cave and then, you know, come back up. It's just a pain. But, I think I did stumble upon a cave while I was mining. Um, over here. We just take our... Awesome supply. Put it right here on the wall. And just... This isn't a very good cave, so we're just gonna... Let's not go down there and, and waste our time. Um, I did want to come over here and explore because, oh look, another cave. Wow. Right, that one also seems to not go anywhere. But we did get a small battery and a medium solar panel. Very cool. Sorry if I'm being serious, I'm just trying to uh, explain the game. I will be more goofy in my later episodes. So this small battery is actually going to be really useful when we have to craft like tethers and stuff. And we're away from uh, our tethers. See how I'm regenerating the uh, energy now. So this cave actually goes down. All right, that makes me very happy. As you can see, I'm sliding a bit. Oh my gosh! That is not my. That's a, that's a big fear. That's what I'm gonna say. That's a big fear. I have slid down and lost my wall and stuff. Let me tell you, it's not the most fun. I'm gonna head back, make some tethers, and then come back.
Right, and I'm back. And we're gonna be sliding again, apparently. I don't really want to be sliding. Because um, as you can see, pretty big drop right there. So we can actually use our tool here, our terrain tool. Smooth it out a bit and cover that up. And boom. You will start to notice it might be pretty cramped in there after a while. But that's just the game. So this is a research item that we can research with a research table later. And that over there might be able to see it over there. It's actually quartz. It's used to make glass materials. This is actually an exocache, and this is really good. So we're gonna need those exochips later. Anyways. Quartz. Very cool mineral. I think I'm gonna leave it because I don't need to pick it up right now. That. Z uh, yeah, zinc. Don't think I need the zinc. I don't know what's over there, so let's make a look at that. Across this little cave entrance. Go check this out real quick. This is a research item. Okay. Just wanted to see what that was. I will catch you guys when I find. Okay guys, so I actually found what I need, um, it's actually right over there. It's the stuff that looks like coins, um, or poker chips, and I have run out of tethers. I need to find some compound to get over there. Oh, good, 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 good. It's a very big deposit of this uh, mineral. So we can really just grind it. ground with us. Um, take some of this and we're gonna power this bad boy up. Turn on the smelting furnace. And as you can see it's gonna start smelting and our line is paper thin right now. I think I've seen it smaller but it's so bad right now. We're gonna run over to our copper or compound. Um, we're gonna scroll over to small generator. Make a small generator. And a small generator. Stick that to the side or really anywhere. So let's go ahead and stick it. And you see our production is so much faster. Put that on. I'm going to turn that off because we don't want to waste it. Um, but yeah. Look at this mission log. Medium storage. 
storage. All right. Small battery. All right. And two schematics. Arm yourself. Where? Oh, print an auto arm. Got it. Alright, well, I think we're gonna end that episode here. And make sure you stick around for part two, because part two will be coming out very soon. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye bye.